just quick, just quick demonstration about Android Auto not charging very well. I think pretty much with any car that has a USB jack that plugs into the default head unit, none of them charge very quick. And in my case, the phone was actually, even though it said it was charging, it was dropping um, battery power because it wasn't charging fast enough for the amount of energy that was being used. So here's a demonstration. Plug the phone in and go to the lock screen. You'll see charging slowly, which is uh, not what we want. Usually that's what happens when you plug it into a slow computer or something that can't provide enough power. So we've got it plugged in, Android Auto comes up, shows up on the screen. And if we go into the program that can measure how much power is being used, we can see it's only getting charged with about 230 milliamps. And after you clear this a couple times, it kind of stabilizes. Right now the app says that we are limited to 500 milliamps of charging capacity because it thinks it's plugged into a computer which, you know, technically is. Uh, so instead of getting the fast charging rate, it's limiting it because it thinks the computer can't handle it. So you can see after a while, this kind of stabilizes. It's between like 100 and 200. It's probably also because I've got the screen brightness turned up. There's more power being used by that than it's getting charged. So it's very slow. So one thing I found was, we'll go ahead and unplug this. So you can see, it goes back here, we're decharging. Android Auto turned off. You grab one of these powered USB hubs that have a, it has the regular USB connection on it and then it also has a 12 volt input right focus right there so I grabbed a random car charger uh, battery that fit in there luckily this doesn't come with the unit it comes with the wall unit so you just got to find one that fits Take that, plug it in. The lights on this will turn up because the t battery is powering that now. And you take the USB out of the hub and you plug it into here. So you got that plugged in. That's plugged into here. Now take your phone and there is a jack on here that has a special charge icon on it. Oh, my, this will not focus. Um, come on. There we go. Um, the bottom jack will charge faster than all the other ones. And on some of the ones that I read, the ones that charge quickly don't actually hook up to the to the data port. They're just for charging. But on this one, it keeps the data hooked up also. So we go in here, go to the lock screen, and you can see now it says charging. Not charging slowly. So, I mean, I mean it's not... Um, it's not charging quickly, but it's also uh, charging faster than that. Charging faster than just with the default one. So we got Android Auto going. That shows up there. And now after we let this stabilize for a couple seconds, I don't know why it doesn't jump up immediately, but you know, whatever. So we let this go for a couple seconds, clear it out. And you can see on the screen here, it says the max is 1.5 now, not 500 like before. So after you let this go for a little bit, it'll slowly climb. Or it did last time at least. 740. 800. Last time it climbed to about 1200 milliamp hours. In 60, 790. So I mean, anyway, it's much faster than the um, than the default one. It was getting up to 1200. It might be because I don't have the car running. We can try doing that. See if that helps. So, oops. See, I just have this sitting in here, and just have uh, a quarter.
cord stick out. So, I think it also changes the amount of power it's getting based on how full the battery is. So yeah, it uh, it works better with that than the car one. At least this way, my my battery will actually charge. It won't end up lower than where I uh, than when I started. That's disappointing. It wasn't getting as high as it was when I showed when I did it before the video. Maybe if we try to cycle it. There we go, thousand. So I'm I'm not. This app might not be the most accurate, or I've I've used it before. It seems to be pretty good, but you know, who knows? Um, turn the brightness down. Maybe that's what does it. So much power using the screen. But yeah, charges much faster. At least it's at one amp instead of two hundred, which is abysmal. But yeah, so yeah, this this little. Uh, this adapter works fine. The model above this that has three powered ones from the reviews on Amazon, it looks like when you plug them into these, it doesn't go through there. You don't get data pass through, but they also charge faster. So I think this might be a good compromise. Um, at least you're gonna get faster charging than uh, if uh, you're using the default car one.